Today I'm going to show you how to test your gold using electricity. Gold versus pyrite. Right here. Common pyrite. Pyrite does not conduct electricity whatsoever. We use electric voltage meter. We know we have continuity when we hear the sound. So we know when we hear the sound, the electricity is traveling through our minerals. As you notice, we get numbers, but that number means nothing whatsoever. We listen for the sound. No sounds whatsoever. I'm close together on the pyrite. No sounds whatsoever. No continuity going through the mineral of pyrite. Pyrite does not allow electricity to travel through it. Now, we go over to common gold ore. Lots of people call the colors in this specimen, they call this here calcopyrite, etc. If it's calcopyrite or pyrite, electricity does not travel through it. Once again, we use the probes and we hear the continuity. We're not even close to touching the probes together. We have continuity at each one of these. That's good gold, folks. Now right there we got a little bit of uh, build up, uh, oxides, etc. won't let the electricity travel through it. Here we got good crystals. We probe into them. We're not touching. We hear the sound. Now, we go to the Folk Falcon Gold Tester. It tests for gold. It tells you if you got black stands or what. Once again, we're going by noise. We hear the noise. We hear the squall. This device is a very good device. It's a motion detector. So what we do, we bounce it out, and with it, we hear our sounds. We see the pyrite. Pyrite's making the noise going away from it. Gold. Going to it. Black sands. It's all about sounds, just like a typical metal detector. And now we're going to move on over to the gold ore. If it's gold, it's going to make a noise going to it. Not away from it. Here's the gold. Going to it, it's gold. Very simple. We have gold in the rock, gold in the ore. Pyrite, as we know, makes no noise. It's good. Our gold, going to it. And that's just small gold, folks. That's just a little speck of gold there. Our black sands, going away. Go by your sounds. Trust your metal detectors. Now here, we have another sample. Let's find a better one than that. Look at there. A lot of people call that pyrite. That is gold, folks. It's gold with a mix of silver in it, some tellurium. It's just an all-around good specimen. The camera's throwing us off because these are very sensitive. It's running at 300 megahertz. The Falcon right here, Gold Tracker. I recommend that for any hard rocker. Any questions, ask the Falcon. It'll give you the honest answer. You all take care now. I hope you learned something today. Remember, your electricity, it will not flow through pyrite of any kind. But electricity does travel through gold, silver, platinum, etc. Precious metals will allow electricity to travel through it where pyrites don't. I hope you learned something here. Y'all have a good day.